Leek rugby fans arrived at Twickenham with a buzz in the air as they embarked on the greatest day in the club's 91-year history. The players were greeted with a hero's welcome at the home of English rugby and were even given the honour of the home dressing room. As the crowd and anticipation built inside the stadium, the players emerged onto the biggest stage to a hearty Staffordshire roar. However, there seemed to be no big day nerves weighing down the league side as they started brightly. They dominated early territory and were rewarded as the half hour mark approached when hooker Luke Granger peeled off the back of the line out to power his way over. But the lead was short lived as good work from the Trowbridge pack saw Carl Parry force his way over and give the Wiltshire side a 10 5 lead at half time. Shortly after half time, Trowbridge extended their lead as danger man Jackson Sabo picked up a loose ball and set off on a mazy run that saw him touch down in the corner to extend the lead to 10 points. The league team continued to fight though and the deficit was reduced when captain Gary McDermott danced his way through the defence to score under the posts. Although Trowbridge scored again, Leek continued to fight and winger James Floyd broke away to score and leave his team trailing by three points with just five minutes left. But the Wiltshire team's defence managed to hold out and secure a 22-19 victory. Fly half and captain Gary McDermott, seen in action here, spoke to me after the game and said although disappointed, the day was about far more than the result as he hopes the side's exploits will have inspired a future generation.